Hey guys, Mike with Solo YGO, and we are back with another profile. So, I ended up swapping my Edison deck, I don't know, maybe a month ago, um, after I decided I didn't want to play Chaos, and we're still doing dark things, but now we're on Zombies. So, I'm no expert with this deck. I've picked it up, and thanks to Beast Mode on YouTube, um, I've learned a fair amount about it. I'm still learning stuff all the time, so I'm going to go through the things that I know about it, and we're just going to go from there. Okay, so to start out, uh, any deck I'm going to be playing in Edison is definitely playing Dad, because Dad is one of my favorite cards. Uh, I remember playing him when I was younger, and he's just really cool. And two Caius. Um, I kind of wish this deck played three, but the two Caius is fine, because I remember in my Chaos lists, one of the issues I would have with it often is Chaos, or not Chaos, sorry, Caius can kind of break you, which is a little rough at times, because sometimes that tribute is tough. There's a version of this deck that I'm going to cover at the end, that is a little easier on tributes and lets you play ill blood. I'm just currently playing bread and butter diva zombies because it looked the most fun to me and it seemed like a really good place to start. So into the zombie engine, two goblin zombies, shout out to Jay for helping hook me up with the nice secrets. And then two Misty Tomatoes, two Paramount Turtles. So these are your recruiters. This is how you're getting into your other cards. Um, some people are cutting the recruiters or running different numbers. I think the four here is pretty solid. Um, I've liked it so far. Uh, it can be rough if your meta has a bunch of like dimensional prisons and stuff in it, but I've had decent luck with it for now. And the remaining zombies are a Plague Spreader, a Zombie Master, a Mizuki, and a Spirit River. So these are all your zombie cards that you're playing. Um, these are all your power singletons. Uh, they're just really good. I personally love Spirit River. I liked playing him in Goat too. Now, the non-zombie creatures, we'll start with the tuners. Uh, one Gale, super solid, don't need to sail out there. And just two Divas. Um, zombies doesn't run three Diva, and it doesn't run the Spined Gilman. I think just mostly for sizing. Spined Gilman, because he does nothing for you. But um, I think you're just on two Divas, because you, you can loop Plague Spreader really easily in this deck between Zombie Master and... Um, the Doom Kaiser, although Doom Kaiser's picking up your opponents anyway. And then the remaining ones are Sangin. He just, he's Sangin. He gets a lot of stuff in your deck. And then Gores and Trag. Still learning optimally how to use Trag, because that card has a lot of text on him. All right, and then into the spells. Double Book of Life. Really good card. Um, I did like Beast Mode has a decent strategy where when he expects his opponents to board in Graveyard Hate because they don't want you recurring all your zombies, that's when you board out your Book of Life. So you kind of blank some of their sideboard cards. I haven't had the opportunity to try that myself, but I love that kind of tricky shit, so I probably will end up doing that. And the rest of the spells are Singletons, Allure of Darkness, MST, Heavy Storm, Brain Control, and Mind Control. These are awesome with your Divas and your Plague Spreaders, stealing your opponent's cards to make your own Synchros is great. And then onto the traps. Power Singletons, not a whole lot to talk about. We'll talk about a few traps, but the Power Singletons, there's not a lot to talk about. Turn to Tribute, Solemn Judgment, Dust Shoot, Mirror Force, Return from the Different Dimension, and Call of the Haunted. I've seen some people packing Burial. Um, I personally don't want to do that because in my decks, when I do deck construction, I try to reduce the number of cards that aren't good on the top deck as much as possible if the game ends up going into that grindy state. I'm willing to make a concession to play this card because it's so good, but I don't want to play multiples of that, so that's why I personally don't play Burial. And then into the other traps, Double Bottomless, this card's amazing, um, Triple Barrier, or sorry, prison, not barrier. I just did my Sky Striker profile, so I saw dimensional, and I was like, barrier, no, prison. And then the trap I'm gonna talk about, because I wasn't sure about these, and I've come to love this card in this deck, three Legacy of Yada Garasu. So this card's really sneaky, because you can set it, and I mean, in Edison, there's enough nasty traps, your opponent can't just ignore it. Like, if there's something there, they have to kind of pay attention to it, whether they think it's real or not. Um, and then you can also set it have a gores in hand, they go to attack, you draw, now you don't have a card, gores them. So that's really cool too, so you can gores kind of out of nowhere. 
All right, and that's the main deck. So we'll move on to the extra deck. Uh, Chimera Tech, because we are packing two Cyber Dragons in the sideboard, and that card is just really good. And then a lot of the rest of this is standard. Um, Armory Arm, uh, Cataster, Bryonic, and then Doom Kaiser. Um, one thing to bear in mind about Doom Kaiser that I wouldn't have paid attention to if Beast Mode didn't specifically say it uh, Doom Kaiser's effect to steal um, zombies out of your opponent's graveyard says special summon, not synchro summon. So if you do Book of Life him, you can get their Plague Spreader again, which is a really nice trick. Um, Gaia, he's just a big six. Goyo, doesn't need a lot of explanation. Uh, something cool about Revived King um, that the text is a little weird. So if he kills a Treeborn Frog, or you have him on the field and a zombie kills a treeborn frog. That treeborn can't come back because its effect is negated and then it goes to the graveyard negated, which is kind of weird for my magic brain, but um, knowing that that's a good trick, this is a really good card against monarchs. Uh, Black Rose, Armor Master, Colossal Fighter, Dark End, Stardust, Thought Ruler, Mistworm. Uh, all pretty standard. I really like playing Dark End. I've never played with him besides this deck, and he's super good. All right, and then we'll move on to the sideboard. And this is just what I have for right now. There's probably another optimal way to run the sideboard, but, you know, this is just what I'm packing for the time being while I'm still learning the deck. Double Cyber Dragon. Double DD Crow. A Smashing Ground. Two Noblemans. And this is kind of just one of those cards that's nice um, when you're going to think about boarding out Book of Life, because it's not like Smashing Ground is ever dead against really any matchup. Uh, double Skill Drain with the really cool Lost Art. Uh, a single copy of Starlight Road. Two Compulses. And three Dust Tornadoes. Uh, Dust Tornado is good for back row removal, and it can also do the sneaky thing that I was talking about with... Um, uh, Legacy of Yadagarasu with Gores if they have some back row to pop. So you can kind of pretend you have something and then pop their back row. All right. And... Oh, right. One more thing to talk about. So the other zombie list that I've seen is you're running Ultimate Offering and then that supercharges Illblood. I do have the cards to do it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure how much I'll like it more than the other one because this does seem a little rough on the top deck because this doesn't do anything unless you have a good hand. But you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's kind of more acceptable to do things like that. And this just helps you compete with the other decks that spam things out. So who knows, next time you see the profile, I might be on this version. But the other nice part is these cards are all super cheap so I can own both versions and it really costs nothing. And that's the nice part about um, older formats. Decks are not expensive. Uh, question of the day. I can't remember if I've asked it before, but in honor of my profile, um, what other card games have you guys played? I'm a former Magic player, and actually I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, because this card isn't legal anymore. If he was, I would probably still be playing Legacy. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the profile, and have a good one.